Many Joomla templates allow you to update or change the style of the template right here within the Template Manager. When you're on Styles, click OS Training Breeze Default, and you'll see here under the Advanced tab that we can upload our own logo, enable Google Fonts, enable Font Awesome, enable the Mobile Menu, and we'll look at that in just a moment. Change the Google font name. So if you have a particular Google font that you want, you can update that here and change the color scheme of your entire site. And this is a really simple theme. This is the back end of a very complex template that comes from one of the template clubs I talked about earlier. In it, you can click and drag module positions around. You can make them smaller, larger. You can hide them from different devices. You can change the colors, the width, the padding, the borders, the background, parallax, buttons, menus, menu dropdowns. It goes on and on. This is an unbelievably complex template that's actually really simple to use once you've read the documentation. It allows you to essentially put module positions anywhere you want for any device that you want. You have menu options, dropdowns, effects, social interaction, and of course, any of the settings that you might need to change. Once again, this is a really powerful template and many of the template clubs and designers out there are building advanced templates like this for Joomla so that you don't need to know CSS or PHP to update your layout. Again, Breeze is a really simple template and all it does is allows you to update the logo, embed a Google font, enable the drop down menu, and choose a different color scheme if you like. So I can choose, you know, green. Go ahead and click Menu Assignment. One last thing about Joomla templates while we're here is that you can have multiple templates on your site, giving you a different look and feel to different areas of your site, and you assign them by menu. So if I go over to Protostar now, and click on Menu Assignment here, and make Overview, History, and Location, use the Protostar template, Click Save and Close. I now have Breeze as my default, but on those three pages, Protostar is going to be the template. You'll notice my color change that I put in, and if I go to Overview, there's the Protostar template. Of course, I'd need to fix my module positions as well for this template. Undoing what we just did is as simple as coming into Protostar, clicking on Menu Assignment, and unchecking those menus save and close and you'll note that there's no check mark here anymore so OS Training Breeze is now managing the entire site.